In this video, I will explain how to create a portfolio and how to submit it once you have it completed. I believe you are watching this video because you are undergoing portfolio review this semester and have been encouraged to submit your e portfolio by Monday before the reviews. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Yun Shin and I teach drawing at Austin P. In this video, I will work you through each slide explain how to complete and submit the e portfolio. This is what the first page of your e portfolio should look like. Make sure you put your name at the beginning. And when you click to the next page, you will be asked to write simple artist statement in seven to 10 sentences. Describe materials and techniques that you have utilized along with your artistic goals. Feel free to highlight any unique strengths, weakness, ideas, and inspirations. Here is a sample artist statement. After all this statement, you will begin inserting, showcasing your work samples from foundation courses, drawing one, foundation one, two, and three. Following that, you will have opportunity to share up to five personal works strongly related to your interest and concentration. You will need to total up to 13 work samples with no less than 10 required to complete your e portfolio. This means you are asked to share at least two of your personal works after displaying your work samples from the required courses. Again, drawing one, foundation one, two, and three. Let's start showcasing your work samples from uh, drawing one. You have opportunity to choose the best two examples from each foundation course and showcase them. Something you are really proud of it. Take nice photos of each work using your cell phone or camera from both. And Photoshop your images for showcasing. Here is example of a good image for e portfolio. And one is not ideal. Make sure to showcase only your work without any extra textures, other drawings, an object visible beneath your drawing. Use an application like Photoshop to crop your images nicely, displaying only your drawing. Also, each work sample needs title and brief description. For the title, you can leave it as an untitled or add a specific title for each work sample. In the brief description, be sure to specify the materials and technique you used and size of your drawing and what you were trying to achieve. Once you have completed the first slide with the first work sample, continue to the next slide. The process will be stay same. Enjoy your image add title, include brief description. Once you have finished showcasing your best two drawings from drawing one, the next slide will prompt you to showcase another two best examples from foundation one. Repeat the process you followed for drawing one. Enjoy two images of your work samples from foundation one, ensuring they are nicely cropped, and add a title and brief description for each. And repeat the process for showcasing your work samples from foundation two and foundation three. For your moving images, animations, and videos, make sure export your project to file format you want to share, such as an MP4, Please submit them as a separate files along with your portfolio. 
Once you have a finished showcasing your work samples from foundation courses, you will be prompted to share your personal work samples up to five with at least two strongly related to your interest and concentration. Follow the same step. Provide title for each work sample and along with a brief description. Once you are done, it's time to save your PowerPoint file to convert to PDF, excluding your moving images, again, animation and videos. Please separate those and submit them separately. Afterward, uh, please send your PDF file and separate files for your moving image to art at apsu.edu. Also, please include your name on each file. Due date for this e for your submission is Monday before the reviews. And if you have any questions or concerns regarding this process or portfolio review in general, we encourage you to reach out your professors, additionally, Professor Collins, and I would be happy to assist you. Thank you.